friends welcome to my channel lizzy teachers cooking world today i have come with the recipe of kootu curry it is a curry made with um, raw banana yam and chickpea or bengal gram you can use the white one or the brown chana now i will show you all the ingredients what i am using See, I have taken two. This is nandran, nandran raw banana, and one piece of yam, and I have taken this piece, chickpeas. Uh, some people use the white one, but uh, commonly this is used for a kote curry, and uh, you don't have any much uh, ingredients. That is, uh, you have. red chili powder turmeric powder um black pepper powder salt according to taste cumin seeds and one uh, grated coconut now first what we have to do is you have to take this bengal gram and put it in a cooker i have taken 100 grams of uh, bengal gram and i'll put little salt i'll put little turmeric powder and i'll add little water water just enough to um cover the chana now i'll keep this in the cooker and i will let it cook after whistle after the first whistle comes i will wait for 10 more minutes so that this is cooked by the time i will cut the raw uh, bananas the yam and uh, this coconut a little portion is used to grind with cumin seeds and the major portion is used to fry and the fried coconut is added to the kote curry we use uh, curry leaves uh, mustard seeds urad dal and whole red chilies for tempering so now i will keep this on the gas for this to be cooked after the whistle i waited for 10 more minutes uh, and then off the gas i released the pressure and now i will open this now see it is cooked now i will put the yam and the raw bananas i'll put little more chili powder and half spoon of turmeric powder there is a little water so i will close the lid and let this cook we'll wait for this to be cooked by the time i will grind the coconut Now I have kept a kadai on the gas. I on the gas, and I put little coconut oil into the kadai. For this, you must use 
coconut oil any other oil will not give the uh, desired taste and aroma so you have to use coconut oil now I'll wait for the coconut oil to become hot and then I will put the mustard seeds now the oil has become hot so I will put the mustard seeds I'll put three small spoons of mustard seeds and I'll wait for this to split now I will put two small spoons of Uruk dal then I will put the curry leaves and I will put the whole red chilies Now this is one coconut, the three fourths of it, I'll put it in sim, I'll be frying it and only one fourth of the coconut, I'll be putting little cumin seeds into it, see one spoon of cumin seeds and I will grind this. By the time this coconut, I will make it dark brown in color. Now we have to add jaggery into this kote curry. This kote curry is made little sweet. Now if you all want it very sweet, you all can add more. I am adding very little quantity of jaggery but it tastes good when you add more jaggery now this jaggery I'm just uh, scraping and putting it if you are getting the jaggery with um, mud impurities then you have to uh, boil it nicely and then strain it now the yam and the raw bananas are cooked I released the pressure now I will open It is cooked and now I'll add this I have ground the uh, coconut and the cumin seeds I'll put it into the cooker I'll wash the jar with little water I'll add this water into the cooker and I will I will on the gas and wait till it gets mixed nicely with the coconut and cumin seeds
this has to become little more brown by the time this will be cooked in the coconut Now I will add the jaggery into the dish. I have added the jaggery inside and I will mix it nicely. You all can add jaggery little more also because if, if you like it sweet. In Sadhya they serve this dish is quite sweet. It depends upon your taste. If you like it sweet, then you all can add more of jaggery. I have added very little. Now this is becoming brown. I can get the very good aroma of the coconut being fried in the coconut oil. See, the when it gets fried nicely, the oil separates from the coconut. Now I will put the black pepper powder. I am putting one full spoon of black pepper powder I will saute this and this I will add into the see it's dry this dish is made quite dry you don't have much water in it The yam and the raw bananas are nicely cooked and see I can get a very good aroma of the fried coconut and now our kuti curry is ready. It is ready to be served. I lock the gas and I will take it in a serving bowl. It's a very tasty dish and this is one of the dishes which is served in a sadhya. (coughs) 
now we all saw how kote curry is made so remember these three ingredients that is chickpea uh, raw banana and yam these three are the main ingredients of a kote curry do try it at home and don't forget to write your valuable comments in the comment box and if you are watching my video for the first time then do subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell button so that you will get all the the notifications of all the videos that i will be uploading now until i come with some more exciting recipe goodbye thank you